Tom Briner with Keep Playing Baseball, and I'm going to define a couple terms you'll see throughout our website. The first term I'm going to define is command of the zone. Command of the zone is absolutely essential uh, when you're dealing with pitchers. If you can't throw strikes, coaches aren't going to be able to put you on the mound. First thing you need to do is figure out how to throw strikes consistently. Uh, with that said, there's also a secondary command of the zone, which is commanding corners and knees. Secondary pitch command is another term you'll see throughout the website. That's basically how well you control your curveball, changeup, slider, cutter, split, whatever, whatever that secondary pitch may be. Um, it's very important, especially for bullpen guys, to uh, get that secondary pitch loose before they come in the game because as a starter you get some time to get some feel for your pitches and maybe find your curveball or find your slider. But if you're coming out of the bullpen, you need to have that secondary pitch available right away. This is also another thing that college coaches look for when they're recruiting pitchers, is how well their prospect can throw not only their fastball for strikes, but their secondary pitches for strikes. Um, and it just makes everything a lot easier. If you can throw off-speed pitches and fastball counts and kind of keep hitters on their toes, it makes things a lot easier for yourself as a pitcher. Arm strength is another term you see throughout the website. It's pretty self-explanatory. Basically just how strong your arm is. Um, that equates directly to velocity with your fastball and even your off-speed pitches. Um, it's very important to have arm strength and to build arm strength and to maintain arm strength throughout a season. Feel for a strike zone is another term we use a lot as college baseball players. Uh, basically what we mean by that is how well you can stick around the plate and also it ties in with what the umpire is giving you. Certain days you'll come to the yard and you'll get three inches off the plate. Certain days you don't even get the outside corner. So it's really important to get a feel for the strike zone early. Um, and even if you're a bullpen guy, you can get that same feel for the strike zone by watching the guy in front of you and understanding what pitches you're going to be able to get when you come to the game. Projectability is a term that is very prevalent throughout the recruiting process. It's basically how well college coach, coaches think you're going to pan out. Whether you, know, you may be a tall, lanky guy and they think they can add weight and develop you into a power hitter or a power pitcher or whatever that may be. Um, basically, that's when college coaches look at you and look at a not, a not a fully matured body and try to think what they can do to better your body to better themselves and their program. A couple more pitching terms are max effort and controlled motion. Uh, max effort guys normally have a hard time finding the strike zone. It's really tough to be consistent when you're throwing as hard as you can. Actually, for the most part, people throw a little slower when they're going max effort rather than just a loose, smooth motion where they can be more consistent and actually use their legs and, and use their entire body to deliver a ball with, with real good velocity on it.